Hi, I'm Chris and I am from the Directorate of Teaching and Learning with Technology at Chwani University of Technology. In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily turn your slideshows into a video that you can distribute to your students. So the first thing that I want you to take notice of is I've got a slideshow open here but I don't want to make changes to this slideshow so let's say I want to present this live again I don't want any audio recordings attached to it so the first thing that I would suggest you do is go file save as and you save the PowerPoint slideshow with another day name instead of training I'm going to call this training AUD just for audio and save now I know my original PowerPoint slideshow is not going to have any of my recordings connected to it so it is actually quite simple you've got your slideshow open you're at the top you go to slideshow and here you will see a bunch of options one of these options is record slideshow and there's a drop down menu you'll notice that from the little triangle pointing down so you can either record from current slide which means you will be recording one slide at a time or you can record from beginning so we're going to record from beginning you hit that button and this will start the recording screen of your slideshow now over here at the top you've got record stop and replay you've also got a bunch of other settings that you can have a look at and annotations make sure that your microphone is turned on you can also turn on your webcam if you've got one which will record your face and here you can switch on the webcams preview Let me just give you a demonstration and we are not going to use the camera so we're going to turn that off we're only going to use audio for this recording so you hit record and you will have it countdown and your recording has started so this is my first slide go to the next slide and as you go through your slides you will notice that everything is timed one tip that i do want to give you is try and keep quiet between your slides you can also do annotations by using some of your tools here. Let's advance into the slide and you can make annotations here in different colors. And we're going to carry on through my slideshow. And once you get to the end of the slideshow, your recording will automatically stop. You can close this screen and you will be back in your slides. You will notice that on my slides now I have little audio speakers that is attached to each of my slides and if I play back these recordings slide. and as you go through your slides you will hear the recordings of the different slides. Now let's say you made a mistake on one of the slides and you want to re-record it you can go to that specific slide record slideshow button again and then just say record from current slide and that will allow you to record just this one slide and we're going to change the audio in other words the audio will now be edited press stop and the new recording will be there you can close it once again and if you play back that audio now change your audio you will hear it is the new audio that is now recorded to the slide now I can go and save my slideshow and each of these slides with the audio will be saved so how do I change this into a video this is quite a simple step all you need to do is resave the slideshow but save it in a video format so we're going to go file save as I'm going to keep the name the same but very importantly the type of file that needs to change a lot of you make use of this PDF format but for this exercise we're going to use MPEG4 video you can also use Windows Media Video which is WMV format but the MPEG4 gives you a better quality at more compression so your files are smaller so you just hit that save and here at the bottom 
of your screen you will see the progress bar of the file being saved. Take note this might take a while depending on the processing speed of your computer and of course depends on how many slides you've got and how long your presentation is. Also a nifty tip is try and split up your presentation into smaller sections. This way it's easier for the students to watch, it's easier for you to produce and revision work becomes a lot easier if a student has a question they can go back to an exact video, short video to get their answer. Okay, once that is done you can close PowerPoint. You will now notice that the file that I saved as an MP4 training audio MP4, MP4 video. Started. So I this is it. my first slide. Good slide. And as you go through your slides, All my slides are there notice. and it is a video. This video is now ready to be uploaded onto the internet. If you have any questions, remember you can contact me at any point in time. Send me an email. I've got email on my phone and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Hope this helps.